Hello everyone. So today we will see how to create a map of your residential area. This, so this is our question. We have to add four area with the with two columns ID and name. We have to add four gardens, two highways, two railway tracks, five railway stations, five restaurants, at least two inside garden, five hospitals, 10 buildings, residential compounds, and business parks. So here we go. We will start with the first layer that is four area. So I will open QGIS and we will click on new project. So a new project window is open. So now I have to create a new layer. So I'll click on layer create new shape file layer here i have to create a layer area so i will name it as area now the geometry is of type polygon the um, it will be wgs84 then i have to add a new column name so i'll write here name and i'll click on add to field list so there are two columns id and name now I'll click on OK. Once OK is clicked, you can see that in the layers panel, a new layer is created with the name area. Now I have to click on this pencil button. So my editing is on. Then I have to click on this polygon shape. And now I can draw my areas on the screen. So suppose I'm drawing this first area you have to right click to give a id and name so i am giving it as area one so area one is created i can create another area by clicking on the screen like this and i'll right click i'll give this as id two and area two as the name so two areas are created, area one and area two. Now I'll create two gardens. So I have to again click on layer, create new shape file layer. And here I will write garden. Then geometry type is polygon and I will add a name field. So I write here name and I click on add to field list then okay so now you can see that garden is also created if it is showing some error that your layer is not created so just make sure that you change the directory okay so now i'll click on toggle editing button then i can see this polygon here so i'll click on add polygon feature now i can create two gardens by clicking on the screen i'll just click and two gardens are created i'll right click to give a name to this gardens garden and i'll click on okay so one garden is created now i'll create another garden over here garden 2 So I have given a name to this garden. Now you can uh, make sure that the garden should be of green color. So you go to properties and there you change the color of the field. I had selected green. So my garden will look green. Now we have to, we will go to the question again. It says that I have to create two highways, two railway tracks and five railway stations. So I'll click on layer, create new shape file layer here. I will take railways. Now the geometry will be of type line. So I'll take line and then 
I will add a name. If you want more columns, you can add to the list. Minimum, we require two columns, ID and name. So I click here. Now, rail, railways are created. So I'll click on toggle editing and this add line feature. I have to click. Now I can make the railway tracks. I had created it. So I'll give one name to this. as railway one now one track is created if i want more i can create one more over here then i can give the name as railway two so my railway layer is also ready now i have to create highways and then railway stations. So again, I have to click on layer, create new shape file layer. Now I have to create highway. This will be again of type point line. Then I will give a name and click on add to field list, then okay. Now, highway is also created so i'll click on toggle editing then i'll select the line feature and suppose my highway is parallel to the railway track so i can create it here and i can give the name as nh1 that is national highway one so one national highway is created suppose one more i want to create it here so i'll right click and i'll click on two and then i will give the name as nh2 so two highways are also created you can change its properties symbology by right clicking on the layer now we have to create railway stations so again i'll click on create new shape file layer now here i will write it as railway station now if suppose your layers are not getting created then what you have to do it might be possible that the by default you have selected c drive where you don't have permission so instead of that you can click on the browse button and you can select the folder in which you want to save your layers so i can select my folder and i can choose whichever layer folder i want to save my layers so now the rail, railway stations will be of type point. So we'll keep it as it is. Now we'll give a name to the railway stations and we'll add it to the field list. So now this layer is also ready. You have to click on the toggle editing button. You can see this points which shows add point feature. So click here and then you can create railway stations. So this is one and I can name it as station one and I'll click on OK. Suppose another station I want it here, then I'll click write to and I'll write station two. So I've created two stations. Now next is five restaurants to inside garden. So let create, let's create five restaurants to inside the garden. So you can click on layer, create new shape file layer. Then this is my restaurant layer. This will be again of type point. I can give a name and click on add to field list and click on okay. So now, restaurant layer is created i'll click on toggle editing then add point feature and then i will select restaurants so first restaurant i am creating inside the garden restaurant one 
then another restaurant i am putting inside another garden restaurant 2 and click on okay then one restaurant i'll put inside this area that is restaurant 3 three and i'll click on okay fourth restaurant i'll put it inside this and i'll give the name as restaurant 4 click on okay one more restaurant we will create it near the highway yes so we are done with five restaurants okay so we'll further go with the question now you can similarly create five hospitals then 10 buildings if i want some kind of designing i can click on properties for each layer like the layer restaurant it is also having properties so i can select whichever type of dots or diamonds that we want so if we apply and click on okay so we'll be able to identify the restaurants very clearly if i want to change the properties of railway stations any color if i want to specifically give i can give that particular color to the railway station like if i want to give a blue triangle then i can click here and i can click on apply so you can see the railway stations over here so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching